Hello everyone. Today we're going to be focusing on cleaning up mocap data captured with Cinema Mocap. We're going to be cleaning it up in Maya. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to want to capture an animation. If you haven't already, I suggest you do that because I already have a pre-baked animation uh, that I just captured using uh, Cinema Mocap. So in order to import this into Maya, we're going to need to find its directory just for ease of use. So it's in Cinema Suite, Cinema Mocap, it's under Animations, and here's your FBX file that the Cinema Mocap generates. So what we're going to do to find this in the browser is right click it, go to Show and Explorer, and then we're going to copy this address right here. Once that's done, we're going to bring up Maya. And we'll see we have a fresh uh, new scene here. So now what we're going to do is import our animation that we captured. So we're going to go up to File, Import, then we're just going to paste the address in here. And here's our animation that we captured. We're just going to import it, and here it is. Now sometimes when you import, your joint size may be a little bit off. So in order to fix really big joints, what you got to do is go to Display, Animation, and Joint Size. And then you just adjust the slider to uh, adjust the size of the joints to improve, uh, I guess, your vis visibility. So once that's all through, we're going to check out our animation here. Well, first we're going to adjust the uh, bar right here. So you can see more of our frames. Now we're just going to scrub through the animation. So as you can see, there's a little bit of hiccups here in our capture. If you take a look at the feet, you'll see a little bit of jittering, which isn't conclusive with uh, what we want. So today we're going to learn how to fix that using Maya. So to begin with, let's select our joint hierarchy. So select the root bone, then go select hierarchy. Now we're just going to scrub through our animation to see where we want to uh, stop it. I think right there is a good point, right after the little wave. So we're going to stop there, and we're going to delete all these keyframes that we don't need. So we're going to hit shift, click, and drag across. And then we're going to right click and hit delete. And it's looking better. So our next step is going to be to open the graph editor. And how to get to that is you go up to window, animation editors, graph editor. As you can see here, it's a pretty big mess, but that's just because we have all the joints selected and this is showing all the rotations, yada, yada, yada. So for clarity's sake, what we're going to do is uh, sort of eliminate a lot of these in-between keyframes just so that this uh, demonstration can go a little bit smoother. So to do that, we're going to go curves, simplify curve option box. Here it is. I'm going to reset the settings and hit apply. So as you can see, it's much uh, cleaner, much easier to work with. So I'm actually going to open up a different file I have that I pre-prepared sort of at this point, just so we don't have to clean up all these bones, it'll take a long time. So I'm just going to switch over to that. So as you can see, even in this animation, there's still some hiccups with the arms going crazy and the foot, the bottom left foot is also going a little bit crazy. So we're just going to clean that stuff up. So we're going to go back to our animation editor, or sorry, graph editor through the uh, window animation editors and graph editor. Oops. Now we're going to select our joint that's giving us trouble here. We're going to fix some of those hiccups that we see. So 
So as we scrub through this animation, you'll see that this is also the time slider here, which sort of coincides with this time slider. And you can see these curves are smooth except for some of these hiccups here. This is what we're seeing when we see it sort of spaz out. So we're going to sort of uh, mellow these curves out. So in order to do that, we're going to scrub through the animation, make sure it looks good. We'll focus on the foot first. So select the bone. As you can see, ankle left corresponds with the bone we selected. And we're going to click on these rotations here. So we're going to scrub through and see, oh, right about there, we're having a bit of trouble. And as you can see, on the z-axis, there's a bit of a hiccup there. It's not a very smooth curve. So we're going to level this out. How to do that? We drag across until we select one of these curves. And then we're going to click this button here, which is the uh, region tool. And uh, we're going to middle click and drag. And as you can see in the viewport, it's leveling that out of the foot out so it's not going through the floor so once you think that looks good just continue our scrub as you can see there's another infracting keyframe there on our curve so we're going to level that one out and I imagine that this one's going to be infracting too so let's just select that and level it out Now we're going to preview it, scrub through. And we have a little bit more crazy stuff going on, but it seems to just be in this Y axis here. So you're going to find that frame. You're going to adjust this graph here. Drag it down. right about there. Still a little bit of trouble with the y-axis there and the x-axis. So we're going to continue our little scrub. Try and get everything on the screen here. right here. That's not supposed to happen. So just drag and level that out. We're going to check the y-axis because we know there's some hiccups over there. Another thing that we can do is we can select these and we can scale them. So if we scale down like this, we'll flatten that curve out. Then we can scrub through. See, it looks a lot better. We'll do the same with this little hiccup here. Scale that like that. Now those feet are looking a lot better. There's one more thing I noticed up here, which was the arm spazzing out. We're going to take a look at that. Right about there. So we're going to select the arm bone here. See shoulder left is what our arm bone is called. And this one's not too bad. Because you can tell these are the... It spazzes out twice. of these two huge spikes right here. So we're just going to grab these and middle mouse drag them down in our graph editor. Ooh, make sure you make sure you're accurate. Just see how that looks. It's looking a lot better. 
Now, once our animation is all cleaned up, what we can do is bake out our keyframes. So we'll close the graph editor. And we will go file, oops, edit, keys, we'll go big simulation. I'm going to reset the settings here. I'm going to go start end. Now as you can see, let me I'll show you in the graph editor here. There is a keyframe, I believe, on zero. So what we're going to want to do when we bake the simulation is we're going to want to start on one. Just so we can eliminate that keyframe. Our end is on wait, let's just make sure what our end is here. It's on 169. So dial that in. Good, so then we're going to start baking it. As you can see, our keyframes look a lot better now. They're not all jumbled up on top of each other. The animation looks pretty smooth. So now we're going to export our file. We do that by going File. Let's delete the history first, actually. Delete all by type. Non-deformer history. Now we're going to go File, Export All. And we'll find a place to export this. We'll use a DAE FBX export. We'll call this we'll call this Animation Clean. So we'll dial that in just so we know that it's been cleaned up. And we'll push Export. So now we'll check out our animation in Unity. Import, new asset, go to file, import it. And we're going to check out our animations. We're going to select our generated model with the animation with it. Go to animations and in this bottom little preview pane here, you can check it out. There you have it, we have a clean animation. And our keyframes have been baked, everything's nice and clean, and there's no more hiccups. Thanks for watching.